Hi, this is Kimberly Elizabeth and I would like to welcome you back to my channel, Bookkeeping Journey. Today's video is another video made because of Eunice Mason. Yes, you asked a question and I'm here to give you an answer. So I will put Eunice's question on the screen so that you can follow along and see what today's video is about. Well, she said, yes, you, you do pronounce my name correctly. That's because I did answer her if I was pronouncing her name correctly in another video. I do have another question. What tips do you have on organizing your business? So to answer your question, Eunice, on getting organized, I have made four points for us bookkeeping owners for our businesses. Number one, making sure that you have your business bank account separated from your personal bank account. That's the first thing. Because as we know, a business is separate from its owner and you don't want to have your bank accounts mixed up. This organizing your money. You, that, that, this is the part where you organize your money to make sure that nothing is mixed up and you are ready to onboard those clients, take those payments and pay out for whatever it is that you have to pay out for. The second tip to having your business organized, set up your processes. So you want to set up your processes. Remember I did a video, I did about three videos last week which is onboarding the client process one. Uh, on board in a client part two and then I talked about the cleanup process in the in step three so you want to go and watch those videos and I will put all three of them uh, I, I will put all three of them here so you can see what the thumbnails look like and you can be able to go on my channel go and look at those videos and watch those and get your systems all set up so that's all part of organizing your business because if you you're making sure that you are ready for all these different clients and you have a process set up to be able to onboard them, to be able to accept payments because you have your bank accounts separated. You can start out having those automatic payments at the beginning of the month. The next thing that you're going to do is that you're going to make a daily schedule. So I know how my day runs and right now I, um, I have set up a schedule for myself. As you all know, I'm doing this 30 day challenge and to get that outside client that to be my first client because you know as i always say my family i don't count her in <laughs> sorry Tanya. uh i don't count her in but so therefore this has forced me to get myself a schedule so my organized day currently is when i get it on mornings i read my affirmation and then i go back to bed and i have my and then I have, and then I meditate for an hour. So, but normally I would meditate like for 30 minutes, sometimes an hour, or sometimes two, depends on when. But right now I stick it to an hour, and I would then go exercise, shower, come and do a video. And right now I am, uh, my part of my daily routine is to message people on LinkedIn, and then also write 300 words in my book. Now, Obviously, these are not things that are going to go on forever. I'm going to someday come to the point where I'm not writing my things on my book and then my schedule will change. But I'm telling you this schedule because I want to enforce that you make your own schedule for you, for you to be able to have that business owner feel. You want to be able to know that when you have your clients and when, you have, when you're so busy that you already had a system set up. You have to set up your system. You have to set up. When when we have children, we have them on a routine. But a lot of us, a lot of us, has our children on routines. So you need to set up a routine for your business because when you work for other companies, they had a routine and they had steps for you to take for when you start how to start your day. So why don't we adapt these things to our businesses as well? So make sure you set up, you set yourself. A daily routine that daily routine also include which I have included as well doing your own books now right now you're not gonna have a lot of bookkeeping to do for yourself 
and it might be that you're just recording that you pay that uh, for that course or and that you bought that piece of software or whatever it is that you are paying for in your business but you make sure that you do your own books because then this will keep you this will keep your mind perking this will keep you right up there with the I have my clients and you and I am doing their books and it will keep it will get you in that rhythm of doing QuickBooks every single day to make sure that you're up to date to make sure that you are on board to make sure that you are actually taking part in your own business because if we are going to be doing clients books we have to be able to do our own as well so those are my four tips and I really hope that this helps you to organize for your business because when I did not have these things set up, so I was basically, initially I was getting up, I was doing my YouTube videos and I didn't have a process, I didn't have, I didn't have a system set up. And I was just all over the place, sometimes I would have time to go outside and watch LMN and watch a little movie here and there. And I will be all over the place and then I find that when I didn't have that system as well, there were a lot of days that I felt like, is this going to work? But when you have a business system set up for your business, for your bookkeeping business, when you have this system set up, you will realize that you're more motivated, you more feel like a business owner, you more you feel like, you know, this is not making sense, this is all worth it. Part of your day is doing like what I'm doing, going on it, and networking with people. That's all part, that's all, because as a business owner, you never stop marketing your services. Even if you have lots of clients, you're still going to market. The big companies always have advertisements, so why do we have to stop? I really hope that you got value from this video, so that when you are that busy business owner, it doesn't feel foreign to you. Before I end this video, I just want to shout out Eunice Mason. Yes, girl, you just got me into a whole group. Imagine I was about to end this video. <laughs> but thank you for your question. I'm sure a lot of people would have been wondering about this. If you have any more questions, just make sure that you put it in the comment section. I will shout you out like I did. Eunice Mason. I will make a video on your question. Okay, bye.